What is up guys, it's Solbash and we are after another pit yet again, just after the Nemesis pit, we are now after the Skeleton King. And I've tapped up all resources on my Panda. So here we are on my Gunslinger and we are going to spend every gem I have to try to get him. Which we started out with a little over 1500. We got a purple to begin with, don't want that. All right, we have four skeleton king soul shards on the gunslinger and a weapon we do not want let's try again and we have a market piece that we're gonna get rid of another market piece come on now i've not had the greatest luck with this yet another market piece and i might be able to use that yeah we could probably upgrade something with that mm, probably to the market Come on. Ah, uh, more market fodder. Give me something good. Eh, maybe. And, uh, I guess I could use those for my outfits. Come on. Nothing. Please. More. And we're out of diamonds on this guy. So we only got four on the gunslinger. That's so, so sad but I always have something in store for you guys and you see he's up for only three days and I figured out another way to get diamonds and I've got just enough for one more roll already have seven on here and see what we can get 150 please yes we have gotten the skeletons king finally only took three days <laughs> All right, let's go in here, stones, and where are you? Right there, Skeleton King. Awesome. Check this bad boy out right here. This is, once again, all of the pets I have on Soul Bash. Now, just to get the resources to level this guy up, which we will be doing in another video, and let's go ahead and take a look at his attributes and abilities his main attack deals 375 percent damage it's pretty nice uh second ability blade vortex spins feverishly sending out blade vortexes for six seconds each vortex deals 276 damage while casting the skeleton king is immune nice enemies caught in the vortexes are knocked back that's pretty awesome Bloodlock, the third ability, locks onto one enemy within a 10 meter radius and pulls it towards the caster, then deals 240% damage, then stunning them for two seconds. Awesome. And the rare skill, Ghostly Hell. Damage taken minus 30%. Nice. Reduces damage, re reduces movement speed of nearby enemies by 20, plus pet evolution times two. And that is a percentage. Stun stationary enemies for two seconds. So this guy is all about some stuns. This is gonna get fun playing with him. All right, and let's take a look at his rare skill. Right now it reduces damage taken by 30% and let's see what it goes up to. All right, it's gonna increase the damage taken percentage. Wow, 60%, 70%, and a total of 70% damage reduction that is gonna be awesome now i don't have very many awakening pills but we're gonna at least throw something on them except an ice proof we'll skip that one uh valor sure why not it's always good to have piercing why not it's something awakening no we don't know fireproof um valor we already have defense eh why not Awakening, more valor, no. Come on, give me something good at least. Only had 11. Okay, we got a wellness. That, that's a pretty decent start. More hit points is always good. And another piercing, so we'll refine that. And you know what? Since I like wellness, we're just going to upgrade it as much as we can. I don't have very much experience to do this, but some base stats went from 4500 to 14500 so an extra 10,000 hit points and his damage is at 750 now and those are base stats guys and right here I want to show you guys how 
I got those diamonds to roll for this. All right, if you go into quest, it's another thing in here, kind of like the other ones we've been doing where you do two maps, except this is the elite challenge. Uh, I have not done a whole lot of these and I wanted to save these just in case I did ever need them and they did come in handy. Basically what I'm gonna do is you can do five of these a day guys and all you're doing is fighting an elite boss. Well, I've done like six of them maybe the whole time so I've got a lot of ground to cover and this stuff is pretty easy to do being I'm higher level now so I'm just breezing right through it and the end goal has some pretty awesome rewards for just the small amount of time that I'm going to spend on it. So what we're going to do here is flip this card and we got a green confirm and now check this out. I did one map and check out the rewards. Extreme challenge number seven, 10,000 gold and 50 diamonds. That took all of what, 30 seconds guys? And like I said, you have five daily attempts. I used three of them to do that last roll that we obviously seen and I did get the shards. So that was pretty awesome. I got very lucky there and do a couple more and I should have enough to roll again if I did need to, but we don't because we already have him now. And some of these probably are gonna get a little bit tougher up in the levels, but right now I'm enjoying the easeability and simpleness to getting these diamonds back. And he starts out with a roll. It's okay, we got a little something from you. And we will take these other 50 diamonds. Let's finish off this trash so we'll end the instance. Ooh, gold. Ha. And another three star, 51 seconds. A little bit more trash to that one. That's not still not bad though. And another green item from the card flip. Now guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comments, let me know what you think about this guys and what do you expect out of this new pet? Um, as we get into the next video where we do level him up and get into the action, I want to know what you guys think about it before you do see it. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Also guys, if you have not seen this video, check it out. This is the one we did on Nemesis. Just click that phone right there. And always like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.